Introduction to Neural Networks for Java, Class 2, Part 2. Welcome to Class 2, Part 2, Introduction to Neural Networks for Java. If you're just joining us now, you may want to check out some of the previous class material in Class 1 or the first part of this class. This material is assumed before you continue with this class session. In this class session, we're going to discuss weight matrices. You've already seen a little bit about matrices in the previous section of this class, but here we're going to see how a weight matrix, how a matrix is used to create a weight matrix, which forms the basis of a neural network. The weight matrix of a neural network is basically the connections between layers of a neural network. So if you have a neural network that has two layers, you're going to have one weight matrix, which is the weight matrix between those two layers. There's also something called thresholds, which is a value between each of the neurons in the layers. The threshold value is also usually stored inside of the weight matrix as well. So the weight matrix becomes a combination of both threshold values and individual weights between the neurons. We will discuss weights and threshold values momentarily in this class session and you will see how a actual weight matrix is constructed for a neural network. First, let's look at the role of a weight matrix in a typical neural network. Here you see a neural network with an input and an output layer. There are two neurons in the input layer, three in the output layer. Here we can see both the threshold values and the weight matrix. The weight values are contained the forward arrows from the input layer to the output layer. You can see 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, 6. These are the weight values between these two layers. The threshold values are contained in the target layer. 1, 3, 5 are the three threshold values. All these numbers together become the weight matrix or the weight and threshold matrix because weight values and thresholds are generally combined together when stored in a neural network. We will now see how this is actually done. Here we see a weight matrix only. This weight matrix does not contain any threshold values. We will see how to add threshold values to a matrix in a moment. This weight matrix represents the neural network that we just saw. As you recall from the previous neural network, there are two input neurons and three output neurons. Correspondingly, there are two rows and three columns. The rows correspond to the input neurons, the columns correspond to the output neurons. Where the rows and columns meet, there is a number, and that number represents the weight between the input neuron and the output neurons. There's a total of six numbers here because between two input neurons and three output neurons, there is a total of six weights. Two times three is equal to six. Now I will show you how to add the threshold values to this matrix and produce a weight and threshold matrix. Here we see a matrix that corresponds to the same neural network that we just looked at. This matrix though also includes threshold values. Notice the threshold values is T's. The W's represent weights, so you can clearly see where the weights and the threshold values fall on a matrix. The thresholds are basically just a row that is added onto a weight matrix. This is because there is one threshold value for each of the output neurons. This allows us to conveniently just add the threshold values onto the weight matrix. This keeps us from having to maintain two different structures for each layer. Now we have one combined weight and threshold matrix. And it is easy enough to tell which value belongs to either the weights or to the thresholds, as you can see in this diagram. This concludes Class 2, Part 2. In the next section, Part 3 of Class 2, you're going to see how to actually construct a weight matrix in Java. You will be shown the Java code that the book uses throughout its um, duration to actually create these weight matrices and use them with neural networks. We hope you will continue with the next part. This course is based on our Introduction to Neural Network Programming books for Java and also Introduction to Neural Networks for C Sharp. 
Available in both paperback and ebook format.